The stock market has been rocking this year, but with a lot of unknowns out there, what can we expect for the second half? Let's talk to our market gurus, Francis Newton, Stacy, and Dave Bonson. Francis Newton, Stacy, uh, the market's been rocking, but it's been a peculiar market. In fact, the higher it goes, the fewer names to seem to participate. Basically, listening to uh, Jerome Powell's latest remarks, he's saying that if they wait too long, you know, the labor market could deteriorate. And he named that as the one catalyst which would cause him to look at reducing rates. David, your thoughts? Um, I don't think that the Fed's decision to cut or not cut has anything to do with labor markets anymore. But she's absolutely right that that's the cover the Fed has and is using. But at the end of the day, the real issue here is that there's a whole lot of loans that are going to reset. There's a maturity wall. There have been high rates now for a year and a half, and very few people are paying them because corporate credit, mortgages, they've all been at a pretty low price. With resets coming, the Fed has to get in front of that, and they will. You know, to your point, so few stocks are participating in this rally. The higher it goes, uh, the narrower it becomes, particularly small companies. Does Chairman Powell risk having the market completely implode, along with Main Street, commercial real estate, and households, to, to not look you know, like he made a mistake? That's right. And it's been the case for a while. And I so I think they've gotten away with it to some degree. But I think that they'll take 50 basis points out by the end of the year. And I don't much care if it's September and November or November and December. I think optically, Charles, they're not likely to cut before the election. We all know it doesn't make any difference, but I think it'll look bad. And so I think they'll end up cutting 50 bips in November, December, take a half a point out of the rate. And you're exactly right that there is risk in smaller cap companies and not to mention private companies that are a far bigger portion of the economy than publicly traded companies. And they have more variable debt than public traded companies do. The Fed's well aware of this. I agree with David, right? We're going to have credit problems. You got 60 percent of the population living paycheck to paycheck. You've got the most onerous credit card rates in history. On the flip side of that, if he lowers rates, preemptively, which I agree with David, he will. We have to keep the demand in the debt markets. You've got to keep interest rates very high for that because we're running such high deficits. David, let me get a final thought from you. Yeah, I actually don't know that I think that we need high rates for there to be demand in the debt markets for the simple reason being that there's no other alternative. Uh, Other countries are cutting and just based on the dollar reserve currency. I remember so well when Bernanke stopped QE3 and the Fed was done buying debt. And, and rates were at 1%. They didn't have any trouble selling that debt. I think they'll fund these ridiculous deficits. My bigger concern, and I'm sure it is for both of you as well, is we're just running up too much debt, and it's hurting economic growth.